Now then, this new Season 10 Doctor Who Blu-ray box set features a whole horde of new content in addition to the content that was on the old DVDs. And the crowning jewel of this new content, surely, has to be a 90-minute documentary about John Pertwee's era as the Doctor. It's called The Third Man and it's really something special. Hosted by the excellent Matthew Sweet, it sees new or archival contributions from people who were directly involved with the Third Doctor's era, including script editor and writer Terence Dix, producer Barry Letts, John Pertwee himself, and Katie Manning, who played Joe Grant. But in amongst these talking heads are Mark Gatiss and Stephen Moffat. Stephen, of course, was the showrunner of Doctor Who from 2009 to 2017, and he'd previously written episodes including Blink, while Mark has written lots of Doctor Who episodes too, and of course both have done loads of other stuff, far too much to list here. Sherlock, Dracula, The League of Gentlemen, the list goes on. One of the many pleasures of box sets like this is seeing newer faces in Doctor Who talking about the classic era and sharing their views on that whole thing, which doesn't happen all that often, or at least it hasn't so far. So it's really interesting to see Mark and Stephen discussing the third Doctor's time. Let's see what they have to say about, first of all, the strong influence that Hammer Films had over that whole period of Doctor Who, and then their general opinions on John Pertwee and the way he approached the role of the Doctor. Now, the producer Derek Sherwin, who left as John Pertwee arrived on the show, had already set up the format for the Third Doctor's era, so here are Mark and Stephen telling Matthew what Sherwin gave the show. Quite a in the pit, the Hammer version. That's what he gave them. If you go, I mean, I hadn't really noticed this until quite recently when I rewatched the wonderful Hammer movie of Quatermass and the Pit. It is the Pertwee era. It really is. Julian Glover is playing exactly the same character as the Brigadier, only as Colonel Breen. And the relationship between the two of them is John Pertwee and Nicholas Courtney. It just is. If you go and look at it, you can't miss it. It was quite shocking to me that I'd never noticed it before. They saw that film. They saw that film and did it. But it's that, but I think given a slightly more sort of florid spin, isn't it? It's it's like putting Adam Adamant into Quatermass and the Pit. In case you're unfamiliar with the 1967 movie Quatermass and the Pit, it's the third in Hammer's series of films based on the TV serial Quatermass and the Pit. Just like the TV serial, the film sees the discovery of a mysterious object buried at the site of an extension to the London Underground. Professor Bernard Quatermass, played by Andrew Keir, works out that aliens have influenced human evolution itself, which is a lovely big concept. So, a sentient Martian spacecraft that can influence the minds of human beings around it certainly sounds very much along the lines of the John Pertwee era. And speaking in a 2008 interview in this very documentary, Sherwin himself backs up this Quatermass comparison, even referencing the film directly. Exiling Doctor Who to Earth uh, was my idea, not for any other reason other than the fact that I was fed up with jellies wobbling around in space. And so I said, let's take it down to Earth, let's do it like Quatermass. Stephen, meanwhile, is keen to qualify his Quatermass and the Pit comparison. Can I just add one thing to all that? That's not a criticism of what they did. I think Doctor Who is brilliant at hoovering up Magpie. other shows and saying, we'll be that, we'll be Sherlock Holmes, we'll be yeah. Quatermass, we'll be whatever. I think that's a smart choice. But I think if you imagined that someone looked at the Hammer v- version of uh, Quatermass and the Pit and said that would be a good TV series, that TV series wouldn't be a million miles away. I'd also like to add that Doctor Who 1970 sounds like that's what it was called. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. So when Stephen and Mark look back at this version of Doctor Who from almost 50 years ago, what do they make of the third Doctor now? He's the Doctor to be most mischaracterised when described. Because people always talk about him as the flamboyant showman in the, uh, in the mad clothes. And you go and see his performance and he is by far the gravest, most serious, most passionate doctor. He, he's rarely funny. He's only minimally eccentric. He's a terribly serious man. And it's interesting that they chose somebody whose entire background was comedy to give the most serious performance as Doctor Who that's, there that, has been, that's, ever. That's the masterstroke, I think. He made the decision, which, whoever, whichever version you believe, I want to play it as myself, I want to play it straight, and do it so well. He's such a good actor, John Pertwee. Mm. It means that there's a sort of steel to him. 
it means that the, 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 the seriousness is, is sort of on top of a bubbling font of mirth and, and fun, which gives him, uh, as Stephen says, that sort of um, gravitas, really is, is real gravitas. He has that perfect quality for any fantasy show, or in fact, any, anything like that, Bond included, of um, making you believe it's possible because you believe in him. You know, as a child, he was my absolute hero. I loved him because he was like the sort of magic granddad you wanted. He just had such authority, he had such kind of, he had a sort of slightly patronizing kindness, he had buckets of charm, he looked great, and he looked like the person who would take your hand and get you out of, a, of any situation, and that's everything you want from a hero. So, in the, despite, no matter how outlandish, you felt like he, he was the fulcrum of it. What Stephen says next about Pertwee's approach to the Doctor probably says a lot, I think, about Stephen's own approach to the Doctor when writing him. There's a sort of thing about him that's really interesting, is he plays a very abrasive, very arrogant, very up-himself Doctor, and doesn't, he, he doesn't shortchange in that. He doesn't make the Doctor a nice person. And I think nice is the wrong descriptor for the Doctor, because the Doctor isn't particularly nice. But what he does, his showmanship and his comedy skills come into making that palatable. He isn't just dark. I mean, you could play that and be uh, and really be quite unpleasant and off-putting, but he's got such grace and such comedy and such charm and such showmanship. You like him despite the awful things he says. Stephen is also very perceptive about a crucial element that John Pertwee brought to the show as a whole. And what John Pertwee added permanently was the idea of the Doctor as really, I mean, and this has never really gone away, as absolutely squarely the hero. I mean, both uh, William Hartnell isn't really the hero of Doctor Who. Patrick Troughton's the sort of comedy hero of Doctor Who. But John Pertwee comes in and says, absolutely my show. If there's a fight scene, I'm in the middle of it. If someone's hanging off a spacecraft, it's me. Mm. And Doctor Who hasn't changed from that. So the idea of him being the comedy boffin, who could sometimes be sidelined by Jamie if there was a big uh, action scene, or Ian Chesterton, or indeed the entirety of Unit, as was the plan, uh, disappears. And, and it stays that way. The Doctor, to this day, to Jodie Whittaker, is the hero of the show. Stephen and Mark go on to cover all kinds of other topics across the entirety of The Third Man's generous running time, alongside all the other interviewees. But within the scope of this video, let's give Mark the final word on John Pertwee as the Doctor. I can't imagine anyone being better for this particular period of Doctor Who than John Pertwee, because he fits everything for me. Oh yes indeed, but now I want to hear your views on John Pertwee as the third Doctor. What do you think of his approach to the role? Do you like him? How do you rate him alongside the other Doctors? Tell me your Pertwee thoughts, and to what extent do you recognise those Quatermass comparisons when it comes to the third Doctor's era? If you enjoyed this video, you might want to hit like and subscribe. I'll also put a link in the video description down there if you'd like to pick up this Season 10 box set for yourself. I'll see you soon, and until then, embrace your obsessions.